are good day everyone and welcome back to another episode of empires so today we are finally making our shop i know i said that we were going to do it in the last episode but i did not realize how long it would take to make the farm but i have done it and i figured out what i did wrong with the farm in the last episode i have to be afk above the guardians not next to them so i'll be afking a lot today but to get up there, I need an elytra, and my elytra is completely broken. And if I want to fix it, it's like, oh, that'll cost you 18 levels because I've repaired it so much and I don't have mending yet. So I reached out to my good old neighbor sausage to see if I could trade him one of my old used dusty ones for one of his new clean sleek versions, the elytra 3000. And he said he would come and drop one off. So that is very kind of him. I also need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my shop, where it's gonna go. Like, is it another ship? Is it a storefront up here? I don't know, but we'll get to that once we first have supplies for our ship. So once we get the wings, we can really start the adventure today. Hello. <gasps> Ahoy, matey! Arg, there's... Welcome there's aboard, there's Sir Sausage. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. What's the name of the, your ship? Well, Sir Sausage, um, yeah, I need to name my ship, and I actually, this is great, because someone, Skeletron, do you know of Skeletron, the evil demon Oh, yeah, Skeletron. yeah, well, they're around here somewhere? They found you? Apparently, he's watching. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, that's scary. We're neighbors, too, so they better not come by on my side. Well, no, it's good for them to watch, because they'll see how powerful I am and be scared oh, of me. Very true, very true. Just don't tell them to go that direction. <laughs> well, I don't place. think he has it up. Oh. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I saw a comment that said I should name the ship the Ender Pearl. Oh, that is a lovely name. Where should, oh, it's, where it's good should I, where should I stamp her? Oh, well, let me see. How about, hmm, what's a good spot? Actually, right here, the first thing you see when you walk in. Oh, yeah. Okay. First thing people see. Oh, there it is. The Ender Pearl. Gorgeous. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a lovely name for a lovely ship. Oh, that's very nice. right. Oh, wait. Oh. Aren't you supposed to, like, crack a bottle or something on her as well? Oh, yeah. Maybe like a um, splash potion. A splash potion of just water. <laughs> just pl pluck it right on the on the side of the boat. I think it, uh, oh, there's a water bucket. It's a night vision potion. Oh, here's a potion bottle. Oh, that's night vision. Okay. You know what? We will just use a bucket of water. Yeah, splash it right on it. Right on the side. I christen thee Miss Enderpearl. Bam! Oh, that's pure good luck. Oh, it's washing all around. Look at that. You cleaned it, too. <laughs> It was very dirty. <laughs> oh, the big drink. So, yeah, I broke my wing sausage. Yeah, I heard. Several times. You know what? At least you didn't fall and die from it, right? Yeah. I didn't know that that was a thing. It, like, literally was just like, <laughs> oh, you're done. Yeah, yeah, you're lucky. It's okay. You have the luck yeah. of the greatest pirate in all the seas here. So, you here, you have even more luck because I got an extra one for you to use right there. Where? Right there. Oh, right there. <laughs> Here, I'll give you my dusty bro broken one. Oh, these are great. I'll, I'll <laughs> repair them. Don't you worry. I'll make sure they're nice and strong for next time. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> you know what? Just for that, I'm going to provide you something very extra special later today. Um, oh. You'll have to swing by later once my shop is set up and you'll get a little oh. extra gift. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, let me, let me know when it's ready now. Fly right through. Oh, okay. don't you yes. Oh, this is great. All right. Be careful because I've heard there's magic in these waters be careful okay oh okay farewell sausage i've seen some crazy stuff last night you just watch out okay yes sir oh thank you let me know when it's ready wow my guardian Whee! angel okay so now that we have our wings we can head up to our farm and afk until we can't afk no more is what we gotta do so where are my rockets at yes we are back okay hopefully i can land up here because my aim is not the best now i think the reason why i have to be on the platform up here is oh shoot yeah see what i tell you where it go oh there it is ow oh look at them all oh my god there's so many look at them all going in there that's so much more here let's go into our oh my god i literally thought i was walking off oh ho 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 so I think the reason, oh my God, there's so many. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So if I'm this low, then basically what happens is I can spawn other creatures in caves and stuff. But if I'm at that height, 
only guardians can spawn. Look at how many there are. You all need to be sucked in much faster. Hurry up. Get in there, you. This is wild. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I have been AFK for, I want to say, two hours, which I think was probably a little too much. Um, <laughs> I think we should go fly home and see how much goody goody gumdrops we got. And I feel like I have almost like glitched a sound that's like permanent because I can still hear the guardians. Um, okay, let's head in here and let's go into the nether and see how our lucrative business is doing. Okay, how's the shop doing? Oh, oh, we've exceeded the limit. We've ex we've, we've gone too far. Oh no, oh, this is bad. We need to come back with reinforcements. Oh my god. I can't do this. I need more chests. More chests! Oh my gosh. Did you see how many things were floating there? All five chests were completely full. Okay. I need to come back. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh-oh. Leave me alone, sir. Whew. Okay, I'm back. And we need to work very quickly. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, but... I think we should also create a funnel system with new chests. So first we need to one, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, I screwed that up. Okay, lovely. And then we need to put new chests here. Maybe we need 12. Okay, cool. It's working. Lovely. Now I just need iron. Oh, wait. I knew I had enough. Stupid Joey. There we go. So, yeah, we're like fully filling things in. Let's speed this up so these don't despawn though. Oh my gosh, that is so much stuff. Almost 10, no, I guess not 10, but this is a lot. This is a lot of goody goody gumdrops up in here. So now we need to, this is gonna take forever. Okay, I'm gonna start with fish. Should I have like a separate fish store? Like, that could be kind of cool if I did fish, and then one shop was for um, the prismarine stuff. I think I should do that. Okay, so I farmed quite a bit of materials, and here are my goody goody gumdrops look at how many things i have for my store i have a lot of fish like this is crazy and i'm actually thinking i might not sell the fish because the fish honestly does not do that much you know i will sell it i will but not for like the reason you might be thinking which is eating but for trading with villagers because i'm pretty sure fishermen villagers will trade cod for emeralds so i gotta save those and maybe not cook them although cooking might give me experience anyways it's time to build my shop finally and put all these beautiful wonderful pieces into my shop and i've already created it in a single player world and i'm going to build it over here like right here on this ledge so first thing i need to clear this area out sorry i mean i don't even need this anymore what did i even need the wheat for i don't even remember but i don't need it anymore and chickens i honestly don't need you either so i'm just gonna set you guys free let me make a quick pickaxe and by pickaxe i mean a regular axe <gasps> be free my chickadee anyas yes farewell go roam about as you will thank you for your services now, this builds, the materials I'm going to need are spruce, jungle, and warped. Yeah, I think it's warped. Whatever the blue wood is. So we're going to have to add to the nether. So let's see. Do we have? Yes. I'm not taking my elytra because that is a risky thing to have. I actually am pretty sure that there was a warp forest close to the entrance of this place. So fingers crossed. I know there was a crimson forest. It is warped. That is the name of it. But I don't know if it's near here. Let's find out. Hello. Oh my gosh. This golden helmet is about to break. Hopefully it lasts long enough for me to get my wood and get the hell out of here. Okay. Crimson that way. Where's the blue? There it is. There she blows. Hello, my warped beauty. Oh, yes. Come to me, my child. I seriously had the best spawn ever. 
in the nether. What is this? Oh, that's right. Give me it. Give me my reward. <gasps> I just saw my life flash before my life. My life. My eyes. That thing. Oh, look at all this goody goody gumdrops. Come to me, my children. Okay, a stack of 64 shall suffice. Now, let's head back home and get building. Okay, I believe I have all the materials I need to make this little shop over here. So I'm going to get to work on this and you guys will just see a cute little time lapse of me putting it together. So enjoy. <laughs> Okay, I have a feeling that that time lapse was a wicked wonky up in here because I tried a new feature of like Matica that like lets you place the blocks much easier, but it was all over the place. I was like placing blocks up in the roof before I even had the walls. So it was, it was just wild and I'm not sure if I'll use that again. Um, who knows, but this is what it looks like here let me actually give you an f4 moment look at how cute this place is now i did take inspiration from a picture i found on pinterest uh i couldn't find the original creator it was like taken and put on pinterest but uh shout out to whoever had a similar design to this i made it bigger and like kind of my own in some ways but uh, a lot of the things were taken from that but let's build the inside of the store together now i already created like an access point to have like a storage underneath and i have an idea of what i want to do so let's go grab some supplies and start decorating i also think i might switch up this location of the staircase going up it just kind of like i don't know if it ruins the flow of coming in here but we'll figure that out okay so first things first i want to create like a bit of shelving to put the chest on and i want it to look like a store so i want to like have maybe a, a fisherman working here in the future so creating kind of like a wall like this to separate the goods and maybe put like um a gate access so i can get back here cute it's kind of cramped in here um but that's fine so i have a bunch of chests so we can put these on these shelves and then of course i have some item frames to signify what is in the chest and then i might put like a sign next to it to say like how much things cost and then we can do another layer because we have a lot of different types of goods to sell that looks really cool should we put like a shelf thing on top of here like a thing that look cool yeah and then what if we put some barrels <gasps> yeah oh this looks so cute it's it's a little cramped in here but that's fine and then i feel like we should also maybe uh put some lanterns in here the blue lanterns the soul lanterns so let's make some of those Okay, I also made some chains because I thought that would be cute. Maybe to like hang. Ooh, kind of spooky vibes. I love it. Now let's do some inside. We'll do one hanging from, excuse me, did I say you could go up there? I don't think so. Maybe from here as well on the side. This is looking very good, very good. I just don't like how cramped it is, but it's fine. It's like a cute little shop. <gasps> Actually, I'm living for this. I love it so much. It looks so good. Are you kidding me? Obsessed. Let's also decorate the outside a little bit. I want to have a barrel hanging down from this, like my inspiration picture. Very cute. Oh, that is so adorable. Okay, I'm liking it. And maybe we just put some barrels over here as well very freaking cute oh i love it come on into the shop and then i'll make a little storage place downstairs that i can go down into and refill my chest 
And then I could eventually have like a fisherman work back there and greet my patrons and, you know, show some love and hopefully get a tip that will in turn cut back to me. Okay, I'm gonna start filling up these chests and I'll be back once those are done. All right, you guys. So my wares are all filled into their rightful chest marked by their item frames. And I just need to put signs with the price, which I honestly don't even know what to price them out as. So uh, maybe, <sighs> It's cause it's tough because like maybe I want to trade for their goods, so I don't want to just do diamonds. Cause what if I don't need diamonds anymore? I don't think we have a currency on the server. I think that's the issue. So it's like I think we're supposed to trade for other goods. So maybe it's like a case by case service. I don't know. But maybe I'll just have like a flat rate for diamonds, and then if they want to exchange for their goods, then they can talk to me about it. But I do want to go into the nether and get some crimson wood so I can make some crimson signs. This will truly be the quickest nether run I will ever do because I spawn right in a crimson forest. So I can just pop right in here and be like, boop, 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 get some wood and I'm good to go. Like, look at this. Hi. Just here for some Woody Lynn Spears. Thank you so much. I don't even need that much. Oh, thank you. See you later. She's an icon. She's a legend. She is the moment. She is Max from Stranger Things. <laughs> Couldn't see nothing. Oh, shocked by my beauty. I would be too. I get it. Oh, and the upside down. Okay, so I placed some signs down, but it's kind of hard to tell what they say. So I'm going to try this. I think, whoa, that's sick. I need more of this stuff. Yeah, squishy, squishy. And then I think if I were to add color, like a dye, it would change that. Anyways, yeah, I think three diamonds. I don't know. I made that five diamonds because I don't have that much and it's much harder to do because it also requires ink sacks. And this requires nine prismarine shards where this requires four. So that's why this is cheaper than that. So anyways, I think we should go visit our good old pal Sausage because without him and helping us with that elytra, none of this would have been able to be made. So let's go fly over to his area and have him come over to a grand opening of the store. It's been a while since I visited my neighbor. Looks like he's done quite some builds. Okay. Hello, sir Sausage, tis I, oh, hello. Pirate Bye. Joe. Hi. Pirate Joe, how you doing? Oh, you look like you've been upgrading your life. Wow, looks like you've been upgrading Sanctuary. It looks wonderful. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff going on over here. Look, I even have a banner maker, boy. So if you need a banner being made uh, for your empire, I got you. This is my man right there. Oh, oh, hi, sir. Yeah, <gasps> I, I'm having flashbacks right to his shoulder pads. I don't know, something about it just reminds me about something from my past. I can't quite my, put my finger on it. Oh, really? You, 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 the hamburger man? The, 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 he's dressed as a hamburger right there. He's a hamburger? Oh, yeah, it's a hamburger. But he's the best hamburger making banner maker ever. Look at this thing. He made my banner for Sanctuary. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that nice? That's, that's the official so banner? Good. Yeah, official banner of Sanctuary right there, fresh, cool. right off the press from this man. Mine will oh, probably involve know, skulls and oh, yeah, that's a very cool dangerous. stuff I, like I, that. I, I could probably find some too. Look, we also have a cookie shop. Come on down and look a little cookie shop. Cookies? Yeah, here you go. Cookies for for the, the best neighbor. <laughs> the best have. neighbor. Yeah, so far I have Oh heard my god. <laughs> nothing, nothing Sausage, I'm on a diet. Come on. Oh, okay, half of it. Hey, just take half then. Half now, half later, okay? When you when you off your diet, <laughs> you come back over here. It's free. Take all you want. Don't worry okay. about it. Okay. Okay, well, listen, the reason that I decided to come over here and pop and visit is because I want yeah. you to come to my grand opening of my shop. Oh, I'm ready. I have okay. a feeling. I know what it is. I saw a lot of death the other day. It has something to do with guardians, huh? Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, still yes. recovering, but uh, come oh. follow me. I'll show you. Let's go. I'm ready. Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> oh, look at my area. Still not as good as sanctuary but it's getting there oh that's a little embarrassing i really need to step up my game 
Hello. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? Is it too dinky for your liking? No, for some reason you did a quick teleport job. You were still floating in air. It's no big deal. It's probably there's something in the water. Don't worry. <laughs> Welcome. I love fish on top. Yes. Yeah. So this is my shop, and it's thanks to you that this was possible. So come on in. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, this is nice. One stack, three diamond. One stack, one diamond. One stack, three dots. Yeah, I, I really These wasn't sure about pricing, actually. So I just kind of put no. those there for now. I'm open to like trades. But because of your generous gift you gave me earlier, the exchange of the elytras, I wanted yes. to offer you a free stack of any one of these oh easy you thank you you don't even need to tell me <laughs> yeah you went for the most expensive one. <laughs> hey i got i got good taste okay i got the He's, good taste that's yeah. the best one right there trust me <laughs> i know where i can get a good bargain right there that's it it's perfect yeah what is your um like resource that you're gonna be selling do you know yet oh i'm working on that right now i'm clearing Ooh. a little spot out because i'm gonna build a giant lumber mill so if you need any kind of wood come to me and I got wood for you. Every single one. That's great. Okay, well, maybe we can have, like, some sort of, like, trading um, oh, yeah. agreement where we could trade resources. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm, I'll give him real cheap to, you know, my neighbor, you know. You know that, yeah, and you don't want to have an ugly neighbor. Like, you want your neighbor to be, yeah. you know, building the best builds ever because you don't oh, want yeah, it to be yeah. an eyesore, you know. Our HOA might... Uh, get upset oh no yeah we'll get upset yeah especially all the skeletons coming down here we, we got to make sure this is nice and defended no nothing bad happens nobody comes in here and starts blowing stuff up too so i gotta protect exactly <gasps> wait yeah because if somebody blows you up they blow me up i'm right there would you actually uh be willing to give me some some tips on how i could improve my my dock and maybe my shop or oh yeah yeah uh, you know what? You know what's always good? It, when, when you have just a little bit of rockiness around here, you can throw a little bit of boulder action, you know, a little seawall kind of oh. thing up to the side here. Maybe some mossy cobble, some yeah. moss coming up to the side. I like that. A little algae okay. here, maybe. You know, it, it looks like it's like uh, the, the, the sea is kind of overtaking it a little bit. Yeah, right I like that. Side. That's cool. Okay. Do you think little... I should move my dock or the staircase from the dock over a little bit? Or how do you feel about the placement? Cause I like, I like it. I like you can have two different kinds of docks. Cause I've seen a lot of wooden docks like this, like that are really nice. Like, this is perfect. This is a good wood, wood dock. And then you can have some that are a little bit more fortified with a little bit like a, like a stone base, you know, with a little arches and stuff. And then put the the the, the dock coming out of the stone base. Too. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. So you can have like a, two different kinds of like dock size. You can have one that's a wooden one and one that's more like fortified maybe the, a little more fortified one down here or something yeah like i could build like a, a bigger ship over there with a yeah for more the big boys on this dog. side okay like, like that port. you got little cranes too in case you gotta get uh, oh and like a little maybe oh. like a little dockside warehouse they you <gasps> store all the goods that you get from the from the out in the sea yeah you yes too. yes yes all the above so many things so many different things but yeah you can oh you know this side over here you can do so many things oh out right here too yeah you can even put it on this side do another dock in here too you can do have docks everywhere yeah okay a but i like harbor. the wood. what's good the whole the wood you have two you can have two different kinds this is a good one this is nice okay cool well Definitely thank you sir walls, sausage for all your advice and all your oh, help yeah. oh you let me know you know i'm next door you know, all you gotta do you listen you know what you gotta get yourself one of these because i can literally probably hear it from my spot and you can call me when you need me oh my god okay where i just have to kill a goat no don't kill the goat no no, 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 you have to do a little bit more specific. Okay, you gotta lure a goat. You gotta be nice to the goat, okay? And then the goat has to run you through like a, like a pirate running through a skeletron. You know, but it, okay. you gotta let him hit, almost hit you, but don't let him hit you. Just jump back up and jump backwards and, don't, and let him hit a piece of stone or something. And then boom, it pops out a horn. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. And then we can communicate back and forth like this. They're like walkie talkies. Okay, cool. Well, Pretty much, yeah. You just, when I get one, I'm sure you'll hear it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna hear it all the time. It's, there's a cool down, too. We gotta make sure we get rid of that. I'll figure it out. It could be non stop. Throw machine guns of horns non stop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this one has a cool down and I hate it. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna use this dark person ring right now. Like, this, like right now. Okay, okay. Let's see it. This instance. Ready? There it is. I used it. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm, using my face. I'm stuck in the water. Help. Help. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. 
thank you. Okay. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm good now. Thank you for the discounts. Goodbye. Goodbye. It was a one discount sausage, not multiple. A hundred percent discount. <laughs> oh, that crazy man. Well, I think we need to actually work on, you know, getting some real customers now because I can't just be giving away all my stuff for free. So let's see if there's anyone else who's interested in my wares. Okay, I have an idea. So Lizzie is online right now and I feel like she would be a very valued customer. So I think I should go and lure her here and make it seem like it's more her idea to be at the shop as opposed to like begging for people to get my stuff. So what if we leave a trail from her empire to my empire of fish? Because there's something fishy about that girl and I feel like she's hiding something and I just don't know if I can trust her yet. So let's go leave a trail of some fishy fish from there to here. Let us go. Boat. Sail me to Lizzie. Oh, wow. This is so beautiful. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm obsessed. Hi, Mr. B. Hello. Oh, oh, all her animals are gone. Oh, not the fox. Hi, Buffy. Where is she? Maybe she's inside. Wait, we have to be sneaky. Oh, I see her name tag. What was that? I'm sorry, you don't have a friend. Who's she talking to? Oh, shut up. Someone here? She's over there. I wonder what she's doing in there. Okay. Let's leave the trail. Oh my God, is that the famous Ariana Gote? Wow, I'm such a fan, Ariana. I love your music, you're so great. Okay, let's leave the fish. Okay, uh, one there, one here. You know what, we'll just leave a whole bunch. Okay, this should get her. This should fully get her to be so curious, be like, what is this trail of fish? I need to have it. Uh, oh, sorry, sir. Here, have a fish. Okay. She's going to owe me a diamond for all these fish, by the way. Um, okay. We'll just follow this path because my house is that way. There's a lot of blocks. We're 4,000 blocks away. Come and get it, Lizzie. Oh, my God. Look at my mini map. All the red. <laughs> oh, we're at Flip's house. You know what? Maybe Flip, if you're around, you could also join. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep making this path and hopefully I'll check in with you guys once we get there. It just keeps going. <gasps> She's following it. I have to be a quicker. Never-ending trail of fish. I have to be quicker. Whoa. Okay, I I've stumbled upon what can only be the most beautiful empire I have ever seen in my life. This is so disgusting and disturbing. Like, how can you be that great at building? It's just, it's just too much. It's too damn much. I have a little fish shack and i'm so proud of it and he has this a floating island okay oh. okay i've left a really long trail and i want to go make sure that she's actually still following it so let's go hide and see oh, there she is i see that pink wig okay it's working the trail is working she's getting closer yes yes perfect go forth young one Go forth to my shop. Whew, okay. Leaving the trail till I get here. Home sweet home. All right. I think this should be enough. The fish shall float to the surface, as they have been, I hope. Otherwise, I don't know if she's gonna find. Yep. Rise, my dear. Rise. Yes, my fishy children. Come to the surface. Perfect. Okay. Let's get into position and welcome our new guest. We will just wait right up here in the shop behind the counter. Actually, I'm gonna wait up here. Any minute now, she should be arriving. Aha, it worked, my plan. Oh, oh no, I'm drowning. Oh no. Well, the sauce of the fish. hello visitor. Hello. Welcome, what brings you here? You're here to shop, come on in. A really long trail of fish brought me here. <gasps> to do with you no how suspicious but while you're here you might as well come on in it's very suspicious come on that's so weird that a trail of fish brought a girl like you to uh my fish shop come step right in a fish shop 
Oh my gosh, do you have an unlimited supply of fish? Oh, yes I do, and I also sell a lot of different wares. Any prismarine you might need? I'm your guy. Wow. The name's Pirate Joe. Oh, hello Pirate Joe, I'm Mayor Lizzy of Critter City and Amelia. Uh, oh, oh, wow, that's a lot of, um, you know, labels. Well, uh, uh, title, uh, 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 title. I'm a, I'm a woman worthy of many titles, okay? A of course. Woman so, of many titles. a woman of your stature, I'm sure, has plenty of diamonds to spend on a poor, lowly pirate fisherman who's just trying to raise his empire up from the ground up. I'm sure you wouldn't mind sparing some yeah. some diamonds, right? That's why you came here. Oh, um, uh, um, actually. Uh, yeah. I don't really have any diamonds yet. I haven't been down into the mines very much. Huh. But I do have a lot of amethyst. Are you interested in shiny amethyst? Potentially. I mean, I I don't know if that goes with my color scheme and all, but maybe. It goes with every color scheme. Come on, it's, it's amethyst. Okay, I mean, I do like um, crystals, so... I have a lot of fish. How about some fish? <gasps> I'll trade you 64 fish for a diamond. Wait, what? You want the fish? Yeah, I'll trade oh, you a no. diamond for the fish. Uh, uh, okay. 64. Here's the fish. Here's a, a diamond. diamond okay, and then you can, use, you can use this diamond to buy something now. Or I could just take this home with me. And uh, now I'm one diamond richer. Uh, what about... Here, I'll give you a discount. Um, what about... Oh, look at You can buy a whole stack of this. You got yourself a deal. Ooh, wait, wait, hang on a second. What, what is this? Here you go. I'll take that diamond. Thank you. Oh my god, you are such a wonderful business person. Thank you so much. I'm so confused. I don't know what just happened. Have I scammed? <laughs> Pirates are scary. I don't know what to do. Well, please come back and you can buy all the treasure and loot you could ever possibly have. I will definitely come back if I need some prismarine. I know exactly where to come. Thank yes. you very much. Yeah. Now, where's the trail of fish to lead me home? Um, Walk the plank, matey! Ah, no, not the water! I don't like the water! Please get me out of the water! And ah, come back with real no. treasure, you I don't fool! Like the plank now. Ah, uh, dang it. Still can't manage to get a real customer around here. <sighs> well, that's it for this episode. I'm still figuring out what to name this place, you guys. I did a poll and we came down to Eversea and the Forgotten Cove. And most people liked Forgotten Cove, but I'm also thinking like Emerald Isle just popped into my head. So I think next episode, I will declare the name of my land. If you like Emerald Isle, please let me know down below or any other suggestions. <laughs> this is going on far too long. But yeah, I hope you guys liked my shop. If you have any ideas how to get more customers, please let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Good damn bye.